What if your phone could think ahead, remind you to grab an umbrella before the rain hits, show live sports scores without unlocking, or even let your dog star in a 3D portrait? No, it's not a sci-fi dream. Samsung's One UI 8 is turning your Galaxy into the smartest version of itself yet, and the lock screen. It's no longer just a screen, it's becoming your real-time dashboard. And the now bar, let's just say it's finally leveling up from me to must have. Welcome back, viewers, Sam here. Don't forget to hit like, drop a comment, share this video, and subscribe for more bite-sized tech magic. All right, let's get into it. So the now bar, once a tiny strip of info that most people ignored. Yeah, Samsung's turning that little row of cards into a full-blown command center right on your lock screen. And here's the twist. Support is expanding from just 20 apps to 35. That means it's not just Samsung apps anymore. Picture this, controlling Spotify, tracking your Uber, checking your pizza delivery, all without unlocking your phone. And it doesn't stop there. Thanks to Android 16's new system, Wide Live Activities API, One UI 8 might soon let any app plug right into the now bar. Real-time updates at a glance. If Samsung flips the switch on this, your lock screen will go from passive to powerful. Imagine seeing live sports scores from ESPN or your buddy's ETA from WhatsApp. Right there, no tapping, no waiting. And if you're rocking a Galaxy Z Flip, you're in for a treat. Until now, the outer screen's now bar was just for show. But One UI 8 changes everything, you'll finally be able to tap, swipe and interact directly on the cover screen. Waiting for a ride, you don't even have to open the phone to see where it is or reply. That's a big deal for quick, one-handed use on the go. But that's just the start. Samsung's going deep on weather awareness. There's a new umbrella reminder inside modes and routines. If rain's coming, your phone gently nudges you. Hey, might rain today. Take an umbrella. And every morning, it actually talks to you. Good morning, it's 8 a.m. and it's 76 degrees outside. It's like your phone just became your personal assistant minus the awkward small talk. Visually, One UI 8 is stunning. New live wallpapers adjust to the time of day, sunny tones in the morning, dusky hues at night. Add in Samsung's new expressive widgets and your home screen just feels alive. And yes, 18 new widgets just dropped. If you're into customizing, these are a dream. Now, multitasking, previously split screen lets you juggle two apps, but with limits. Now, one app can take up nearly the whole screen while the second shrinks into a floating bubble. Tap it and bam, it's back. It feels natural, fast, and finally makes real multitasking on a phone work. Quick Share just got turbocharged. No need to open files first, just tap the toggle in Quick Settings and you get a full sharing hub, ready to send or receive, share across apps instantly, and yes, Samsung's weather app finally looks worthy of your phone. Think stunning animations, smoother transitions, and visuals that almost feel ray traced. They're likely using GPU shader text to make skies and sunlight look hyper real. Call customization also leveled up. Contact cards now have live previews so you can perfectly place your profile pic. No more guessing how your selfie will crop when you call someone. An autocast, way more seamless. Your friends can now scan a QR code to sync music across devices. No passwords, no hassle. Party mode unlocked. Even call recordings are now searchable by contact. So you're not scrolling endlessly anymore. Just tap a person's name and boom every call, every recording neatly sorted. Dex modes feeling love too. You can now rotate displays, tweak resolution, and use vertical monitors. Samsung's aiming for a true desktop feel. AI Select is lightning fast now. One swipe and boom, you're editing or extracting what you want. And if you use the camera gesture, swipe up down to switch lenses. Now you can reprogram it to open quick settings instead. Feels more intuitive. Accessibility got a meaningful upgrade too. You can now zoom using on-screen buttons. Magnifier now shows bigger keyboard keys. Bluetooth hearing aids can be paired via single easy to find setting. It's clear Samsung's trying to make One UI 8 easier for everyone to use. Oh, and this will blow your mind. There's a new portrait studio just for pets. You can give your cat a fishy lens selfie or turn your dog into an oil painting. Want cartoon effects, depth blur, or a magazine style filter for your furry friend? It's built right in. Let's not forget notification cooldown. Ever turn on Wi-Fi in the morning and get spammed with 30 pings at once? One UIA will now auto dampen those alert sounds so you won't feel like your phone's screaming at you, smooth and smart. Screenshots now auto sort. Boarding passes, coupons, QR codes, no more digging through a mess of images. And the My Files app now groups downloads by where they came from. Instagram pecs, PDF from WhatsApp, it's all categorized now. In Samsung Health, new challenges let you compete with friends. Who walks more, who runs faster, it adds some fun motivation, perfect for accountability. Even secure folder got an invisibility cloak. You can hide apps, use separate biometrics, and even remove secure folder from the app drawer entirely. It won't show up in search, in suggestions, now that's stealth. The calendar and reminders got streamlined too. Now you can drag and drop to reschedule events, auto-categorize to DOS, and use a new quick add menu with smart suggestions. 
All of this shows one thing, One UI 8 isn't just about flashy features, it's about knowing how people use their phones, it's less show offy, more smart and subtle. But when it works, you feel it. The Now Bar alone is about to become one of the most useful things on any Galaxy device, and if Samsung does unlock Android 16's Lev Update tools fully, that tiny strip on your lock screen might just become your favorite part of the phone. So what do you think? Will the Now Bar finally become a must-use feature? Or is Samsung just trying to dress up an old idea? Let me know in the comments below! And if you want more deep dives like this, I've got a killer video on how to make your Android feel lightning fast, and another one featuring 15 underrated apps you'll wish you discovered sooner. Tap one, binge both. If you made it this far, you're the real MVP. Smash that like button, share this with your techie friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more smart updates every single week. Catch you in the next one, Sam out!